Hey everyone, this is Paul. Welcome to Common Touch of Fantasy. Today is my February wrap up and my March plans. I don't like to say TBR because TBR feels like I'm trapped, but these are my plans. Okay, so what did I read in February? First book I read was Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. I only had 200 pages to go in this, and then February happened, so I couldn't squeeze it into January. Oh, well. Amazing book. Five out of five. Magic system. Awesome. Plot. Awesome. And characters. Awesome. Uh, YA girl falls in love with random guy within minutes. Not so awesome. But good book. Five out of five. Hey. You've seen everyone talk about Mistborn, and you haven't read it yet? Why haven't you read it? Come on. Come on. Alright, next book I read was the first book in the Chronicles, the Amber Chronicles. Yeah, the first book in the Amber Chronicles. It is the Nine Princes of Amber. I did not like this. I gave it a 2 out of 5. Um... It was an amnesia plot device at the very beginning. I felt like I was watching a Tela Nueva, you know, those things that, on the Mexican channel. And then, like, they get all these creatures from another planet or another um, plane of ex existence, and they basically just use it as fodder in a war, and they don't even care. Like, the main character is basically genociding an entire race. I had issues with the main character. I thought he was selfish. Um, there's this whole plot of him trying to take the throne from his brother and wanting revenge on his brother because his brother tried to kill him. It just... I just didn't care for it. And then... <laughs> and then other things happened. But, you know, the, the whole family dynamic was pretty cool. The world's pretty cool. Magic system is... OP, overpowered for you non-gamers, but <clears throat> I'm going to try the next two books. Um, if I don't like those either, I probably will not read the rest. Hopefully it gets better. And then I read uh, Quiet by Susan Cain. This is a book about introverts and how introverts can um, impact our world and help with businesses and how they communicate and how we can figure out who are introverts at a young age and what to do for them and how to mold them into accepting themselves as an introvert. It's very good. The scientific studies in it was amazing. I really enjoyed reading all this different uh, studies they did on uh, the younger children and the introverts and how they acted. And because I'm an introvert myself, um, it helped me understand myself better. So, if you're an introvert, you should probably maybe check this book out. <clears throat> and then I read uh, Dead House Gates by Stephen Erickson. Book number two in the Malazan Book of the Fallen series. This book was long. Um, it took me forever to read this. But the funny thing is, like, I was reading an old review, and it was uh, Dance of Dragons, and it was a year ago. And I was like, oh, this is 1,200 pages, but I read it in two months. I'm so happy for myself that I read a 1,200-page book in two months. And then I read this 830-page book in ten days, and I'm like, oh, it took way too long to read this book. Where? <laughs> I don't understand. But anyways, I guess, like, I've just changed my idea of, of how many pages I should be reading. But whatever. Anyways, uh, good book. Um... This is a book that is meant to be slow. Um, books that are meant to be slow have a lot of depth to it. A lot of uh, in-depth dialogue and really uh, visceral scenes. And I like that. I like books that are meant to be slow. I don't like slow books. So if the author is wanting to make a slow book, that's fine with me. But if a book it's slow because it's boring. No, no. I give this a five out of five. Whew. So that's two five out of fives in one 
a month and a four out of five. So good month so far. All right, next book I read was um, Agatha Christie's Three Act Tragedy, fun little mystery. Um, Who Done It? I give it a three out of five. Not one of the best pro books I've read, but it's not bad. It's actually it's actually good. Um, but you know the reveal is pretty cool. I guess that's all important. That's important, right? Reveal is cool. All right. And then the last thing, I listened to uh, The Last Colony by John Scalzi. It's the only audio book I listened to in uh, February. It was pretty good. Um, the Old Man's War series is fantastic. Um, if you haven't... Um, if you haven't read or listened to the Old Man's War series, you should get on that. It's good. I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Alright, so what's going on with me... In March. Well, March, first off, I am reading this right now. It is The Elric Saga, Part 1, by Michael Marcock, about 50 pages in. This has the first three Elric books. Elric of Meldebillion. <laughs> Don't know how to say that. The Sailor on the Seas of Fate, and The Weird of the White Wolf. It's a lot of prepositions. But anyways, um, this is cool. This is really good. Um, I'm surprised I'm liking this too much. Written in 1972, it feels fresh. It feels like something written in the last year. Joe Abercrombie, um, you know, Brandon Sanderson, um, R.A. Salvatore, Tracy Hickman, Margaret Weiss, you know, Patrick Rothfuss. This is one of the books that influenced all those people and I'm really liking it it's cool it's kind of albino in it like, and he's he's awesome alright next book I'm reading is The Well of Ascension uh, Miss Born number two Brandon Sanderson we're reading this with the uh, Cosmere people even though there's like a million people and no one's really talking to each other just kind of saying what they want to say to themselves. I don't know. Huge group reads are a mystery. Anyways, Well of Ascension. I wanted to read this as soon as I finished Miss Bourne. I was like, oh, I'll wait for the year of Cosmere next month. So, really looking forward to it. Um, Vin is growing on me. She's pretty cool. And I'm a little bit disappointed on the quality of my book. I bought this used. Somebody just like destroyed the middle of it. Look at that. Why, people, why? And then um, the next thing that I'm for sure reading is the third Malazan book, Memories of Ice. Check out that cover. That guy is sweet. Blades with blood. How could you not like that? Well, that guy's ripped. Anyway, Steven Erickson. Looking forward to this. I heard a lot of good things about this third book, and I'm loving this series. Mm. 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 Can't wait. All right, I don't know what else I'm gonna. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try the uh, next couple of books in the Chronicle of Amber. Amber Chronicles, Chronicle of Amber. I can never get that. Whatever. <sighs> Anyways, I hope I like those better than I did the first one. And then, uh, if I have it more time, I'll just read whatever I think about reading at the time. Don't have anything else planned. So that is my February wrap-up and my plans for March. Let me know what you guys have planned for March. Let me know what you read during February. Say hi to me or just like talk about the weather. I don't care. Uh, comment, subscribe, like. You guys are great. If you watch this, I really appreciate it. Seriously, I don't know why people watch my channel, but thank you, 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 the person right now chewing your nails at your desk. Thank you for watching this video. I'll talk to you later.